to some more stories, members of the Ghana Association of Certified Registered Anesthetists at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra have defied a directive to withdraw anesthesia services for all forms of surgery beginning today, Friday, January 31. Members of the association were expected to withdraw services in protest to plans to change their name. Sarah Paku has more. All 23 theaters of the facility were operational while surgeries were ongoing at the time of our visit, though none of the assistant anesthetists were available to speak to us. They were at work assisting the doctor anesthetist, their core duty. This is in contrast to a directive from their executives to withdraw anesthesia services for all forms of surgery in protest against the intention by the Medical and Dental Council to change their designation to physician assistants. National PRO for the registered anesthetist Seth McAndo explained members will have no career progression should the Medical and Dental Council be allowed to go ahead with their intention. If I'm called assistant, it means I'm unable to go to the bargaining front and there's no career progression for me. So that is why we feel we have to make sure we do not get, we do not get that name. We, we scrap that from the Medical and Dental Council Register once and for all. But the Ghana Anesthetist Society says their demand is baseless. Consultant anesthetists at the Department of Anesthetists at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Robert Jaglete wants the physician assistants to sort out the ambiguity in their quest to be anesthetist. We, the doctors, are not enough and they deliver most of the anesthetic services in the rural areas. However, two years of training in anesthesia cannot make you someone who can deliver anesthesia to all types of patients. According to the doctor anesthetist, regulators need to critically look at the issue and ensure the legal and ethical implications are equally addressed. We should allow the agencies that are mandated to give designations to health professionals to do their work and not try to blackmail people by using threats of strike and going on strike to try and prevent a right thing being done. Meanwhile, the Dental and Medical Council is yet to respond to the concerns by the association.